Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to find the equation of a line given two points on that line. So in this question, we have find the equation of the line passing through the points 4, negative 1, and 0, 5. So we have two points. If we call this point 1 and point 2, we can use these two points to find the slope of the line passing through these points. So that's our first step. We want to find the slope because in finding the equation of a line, the slope y-intercept form needs a slope and a y-intercept. So let's find that slope to start us off. So we do this with our um, slope formula that we've done in the past. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we go back to our points, we can label them point 1, x1, y1, point 2, x2, y2, and that'll help us uh, keep the order intact here for this slope formula. So let's plug it in. 5 minus negative 1 over 0 minus 4. 5 minus negative 1 is 5 plus 1, which is 6, over 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. Let's reduce this fraction, and that will give us negative 3 over 2. You can use a decimal if you prefer. That would be negative 1.5. That's up to you, but we always prefer the reduced fractions, especially when we're talking about slope, because then if we wanted to graph this, we have the rise and the run clearly indicated in that fraction. So there's our slope. So we have now a slope, and we're going to use the same process that we use when we have a slope and a point to figure out the y-intercept now that we need to finish the equation. Let's take this slope and plug it in to our equation then. y equals negative 3 over 2 x plus b. We need to find the b. That's what's missing for us now. We're going to use a point to do that. Either of the points will work if we do the calculations properly. It doesn't matter which point you choose. All, both of these points are on the line, so they should give us the same y-intercept for that line. So when you choose a point, just make sure that you use the x and y values from the same point. So if we choose this one, we'll use this x and this y, and if we choose this one, we'll use this x and this y. So we'll sub in the x and y values into the equation we're working with. So my y, let's do this point, is negative 1. And negative 3 over 2 times my x, which is 4, plus b. So here's our equation. The b is the unknown. We want to solve for that b value. Let's multiply this here. So we'll get negative 1 equals, when you multiply negative 3 times 4 and then divide by 2, that gives us a nice whole number. That's negative 6 plus b. And now we want to move that negative 6 to the other side to get the b by itself. If it's minus 6 here, we add 6 on both sides. That's the op opposite operation. So these cancel, and we're left with b equals negative 1 plus 6 is positive 5 here. So there's our y-intercept, and there's our slope for the line. We're going to take both of those things and plug them into the final equation. y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 5. So there's our final equation, going through all of our steps for finding slope and then finding y-intercept. A little shortcut here would have been, um, if you notice this point here that was given, the 0, 5, because the x-coordinate is 0, you may have realized right away that the 5 has to be the y-intercept because a co an x-coordinate of 0 always is the point that 
crosses at the y-axis. So you could have done that without doing this calculation. But if you don't notice it, we do have that process to fall back on. That's always going to work and give us the correct answer. So there we have the equation of the line that passes through those two given points. Thanks for watch watching. Mrs. A loves math.